Growth investing is a form of investing that focuses on capital appreciation. This pretty much means that you are investing in something at a low price point, waiting a certain amount of years, and then selling it for profit. The longer that you can hold these types of investments, the more profitable you're going to be in the long run. Another form of investing that you're probably familiar with that is similar to this would be investing in real estate. A lot of people invest in real estate and properties with the expectation that the value will go up over time, they can sell it and make profit. So in this video, I'm gonna cover a few questions you may have about growth investing. I'm gonna keep it as quick as I can, and I'm gonna give you a few suggestions at the end of some shares and stocks you might be interested in yourself. So let's get to it. The first big question is what are growth stocks? Investing in growth stocks is essentially investing in big companies that have been and will continue to grow in value over time. These investments typically tend to outperform the overall stock market. Big companies like Google and Apple are good examples of these that have share price appreciation growing as the company is growing itself. Look at the one year returns of Google here in comparison to the one year return of the overall stock market here. These investments are things that you want to invest in and hold for as long as possible to get your maximum amount of profit. So why should you invest in growth stocks? If you have long-term goals of building wealth and you don't really plan to retire anytime soon, then I suggest looking into growth stocks. Growth stocks typically outperform the market because they grow aggressively. However, during bear markets, which is when the economy is not doing the best and the stock market's kind of going down, um, they typically tank a lot more than the overall stock market. But that's kind of the ebb and flow of the market in general, and there's no need to stress over that. Over time, the market goes up and to the right, and you can look at any stock market graph and understand that. So if you're in your 20s, 30s, or maybe even your 40s, and you're thinking about retirement, and you have a long-term plan ahead of you, then investing in growth stocks can be very, very advantageous. It can multiply your money like crazy. All you have to do is sit back, relax, and don't stress. Don't sell when the markets are going down. Forget about your money, and 20 years from now, you're gonna look back at it and be super proud of yourself for the amount of money you have now compared to what you put in at the beginning. Now, hopefully you understand what growth stocks are, who should be investing in them, and now let's talk about what you should be investing in. Instead of investing in individual companies, I suggest that you look into index funds and ETFs that have growth holdings inside of them. This offers complete diversification for your money. It's a lot safer because you're not investing all your money in one stock that might tank in two years and you're out of luck. So some solid growth ETFs and index funds that I suggest you look into and that I invest myself in are QQQM, FTEC, VONG, VOO, and VGT. Now some tech companies that are offering really high growth right now would be like Apple, Google, Tesla, and Amazon. However, these are inevitably going to be replaced by a bigger, better company. It might be 200 years from now, but that's why I suggest you look into index funds and ETFs. You set it, forget it, and your money is good. So hopefully with this video, you understand a little bit more about growth stocks and where you wanna put your money and why. If you wanna learn how to retire early, check out this video here and consider subscribing so that I can keep sharing this information with you and help you reach your financial goals. Until next time, let's keep this fire spreading.